not 100% sure because the heart is turned around and we haven't pulled the heart out. You have to kind of see where it's going. You can't tell by being blue or red, right? Because blue technically should be a pulmonary vein, right? But we're not really sure what it is in this case. So what's this? This is the right cranial vena cava. What, where's that? This is an internal thoracic vein here. Okay. I'm not sure what some of these other ones are that have been pulled off. Is that the azygous? The azygous is right back here. This is the azygous right here. The azygous comes out from underneath the lungs. It goes up and down. Yeah, it's, it's coming from underneath the lungs. You see it? Mm -hmm. That's the azygous. This is the... Um, this is the internal thoracic right here coming off of it. And then this is the um, right cranial vena cava. This is the left cranial vena cava coming from up above. And then down at the bottom of the heart, this one here would be the caudal vena cava, which in a human you would call the inferior vena cava. So there's actually three of them. So then coming up here we have the aorta, so the ascending aorta is very, very short, and then it becomes, very quickly becomes the brachiocephalic artery, and then the brachiocephalic artery is going to branch to form the right and left common carotid arteries, and um, on the right side, it also branches, the common carotid artery then branches further, right here, and this is actually the um, right subclavian, and then the right subclavian immediately sends a artery up called the vertebral artery and it's really close to the um, what is now the jugular vein right and then right after that you have a thyrocervical trunk and then it continues a little bit more and you have these little two coming off and this is called the help me guys <laughs> the costocervical there you go costocervical trunk and then that continues now as an axillary artery. And then the axillary artery has a branch. It should go up. This one's going down. Is there a branch that goes up on the other side? Here it is. Okay, it's right there. This is the subscapular artery. And then this continues as the um, brachial artery here. Right? So... The, let's see, on this side we can see a little better. So here you have again the left cranial vena cava, and then that's going to split and form a subclavian vein, and then an external jugular vein that's going to come up here. And then these are connected by what? Transverse jugular. Mm -hmm. This is a transverse jugular. And then this is going to split again. There should be an internal jugular that's really small. Did you guys have an internal jugular on here? Huh? Did you guys have an internal jugular? I think this one might be, this little knob right here might be the internal jugular because it goes this way. Alright. So that's that. What else? I don't see a clear I see the I see the cardiac but I'm not sure I don't see it yeah it's not in here I don't think it has it because there's no branching okay so everybody's okay with the heart now you've also got a couple of nerves. Here's a nerve coming down, and if you look at this, is on this nerve is on the left side, and it terminates. Um, it looks like it sort of terminates here in the heart, at the atrium of the heart. So this was is going to be the um, uh, the vagus nerve. This is vagus, and then you should have a couple of nerve fibers down here. It looks like this one's been broken. This would be phrenic nerve, and that actually inserts into the diaphragm. You have the lobes of the lung on both sides. So it looks like on this in this animal it looks like there's 
two. It should be three on one side and four on the other, I think, in most. Yeah, here's one, two, three. Here, and this probably has four on this side. I see one, two, three. I don't see a fourth lobe. There might be. And then we have the liver. So you have the right lobe, right, right medial, and the left medial. And then you have the lateral lobes, so the right lateral lobes. And then sticking down, coming up, we, is that finger-like lobe that we call the caudate lobe. Okay. And then your stomach with a, a couple of rugae, if you can get past the poop. There's rugae in there. Uh, let's see what I want to show you next. Oh, okay. So down here is the hepatic portal vein. You can see very clearly a really big hepatic portal vein coming in. Um, your gallbladder, where's your gallbladder? Is it down in here? The gallbladder should be down in here. It's like a little sack. There it is. It's right there. Can you see it? No, it's down, it's right here. It's the gallbladder. Okay. So now you have the continuation of the of the small intestine, the stomach going into the small intestine and the duodenum and then all of all in here pretty torn up though but all in here you can see there's some glandular tissue this is all pancreas in here spleen is very small this is the spleen right here there's more pancreas right there it's very dark I don't think they can see it you get a little dark can you see that little tiny spleen looks like a boomerang so, continuing with the blood vessels, the very here's the abdominal aorta coming down. This first branch coming off is going to be the celiac trunk. Then this continues, and then the next branch coming off is going to be the superior mesenteric artery. And on some of the bunnies, it looks like there's a little bit left here. There's a little bit of nervous tissue that lays right across the top of this a superior mesenteric artery and that is going to be the celiac ganglion which is part of the nervous system. Then right next to that is the adrenal gland and now this is your um, caudal vena cava you can also call it inferior vena cava because there's only one of them here um, branching to the renal uh, vein and also the renal artery underneath it. Right where the adrenal gland is, there's these two uh, arteries and veins that come off and go right near the adrenal gland. These are called adrenolumbar arteries and veins. And then this continues on. Um, we're looking at the vein here again, so the inferior vena cava. There's a couple of veins that go straight back down. Those would be lumbar veins. They go straight down from the top. You can see one right there. That's a lumbar vein. And you can also see um, a little it's like vein coming off here. This might have been the vein, um, one of the gonadal veins. It's broken off. Okay, so continuing down. These are iliolumbar veins going to each side. I don't see, I think this might be, this is kind of weird, it's like a mesenteric vein. But it looks like the inferior the inferior or the caudal vena, uh, caudal, um, caudal, you know, inferior mesenteric or caudal, uh, cranial mesenteric. This might be it. I can't really tell. It didn't take up the latex at all, but it looks like it's heading in that direction. So this, I think, is the caudal mesenteric, and I think this is the cranial mesenteric. And they come up and uh, join with the splenic, which is right here, to form the hepatic portal vein. But this has got a bad one. Does anybody have a better one of these, of the hepatic portal system? Any of your cats? Or rabbits? Cabots? What do you want to call them? So, back to the kidney for a second. So coming off of the kidneys, you also have the ureters. So here's a ureter coming down. Like this. I think this might have been part of the, part, might be part of the gonadal vein that's just broken off. Let's see if we can look on this side. The gonadal vein on this side actually comes out of the renal vein, but I don't see it here either. 